Hello, everyone, and welcome to our weekend reflection brought to you by Spirit Juice Studios. In the first reading with King Solomon, basically the Holy Spirit prompts Solomon and says, Ask me anything that you want, and I'll give it to you. Solomon is praised because he doesn't ask for riches, he doesn't ask for anything material, but because he is following King David, his father, and those are big shoes to fill, and he realizes that he does, he's not equipped to serve those people. In humility, he asks for the gift of wisdom, to be able to understand, to discern hearts. And so God sees that as a great request. He's like, you didn't ask for anything for yourself, anything that ends with the earth, but you asked for wisdom to govern your people. And so he gives them this incredible wisdom. Jesus is speaking about the same thing. He uses metaphorical language that sounds like it's material things. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure that's buried in a field. In other words, when you find that which is most valuable, that you give everything for it, he's talking about eternal life. The question I want to pose to you for reflection and to challenge each one of us is, what do you live for? What is this life about for you? Are you living your life for popularity? Are you living just to make an income? Are you working just to build something on this earth and that's it? Or are you living your life for Jesus? It's what life is all about. Jesus is the way, he is the truth and the life. Everything has to be put in its proper place. If you're seeing this video, I challenge you to let the Lord Jesus sit on the throne of your heart not anything else. It's the place we're gonna find peace, and it's the place that we're gonna find eternal life.